Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara, I'm back with the last part of this animal tribal um, bag that was from um, the West Coast, California. And um, I want to get through all this so I can get it uploaded. This is the last part, hopefully we can go through this pretty quick. In the last part, and since I got everything t untangled, these are just three single earrings. They're going to go in the single earring bag that I have here. So, anyway, let me remind you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my video. O's. And don't forget to hit the notification bell in case you would like to be informed when I upload new videos. Okay. Our first item that we have here is um, a wooden necklace and um, it's got a barrel clasp and it has animals on it. There's a zebra, a lion, an elephant with the trunk up and what do we have over here? Oh, a rhinoceros. Anyway, it's a cute little necklace. The focal point at the bottom is a really nice shell and um, it has really beautiful um, markings on this shell. So that's our first item. And let's go to the next item. Let me tell you what a big tangled mess I had because of that one necklace that was in there with all those seed beads. So hopefully now we're going to be good. Now this one here is um, antique brass. I'm going to put this on Buster here. I don't think it's going to it's going to work. This is wooden. It has some gold beads, it has some wooden beads, and it has some really interesting beads on it. Um, let me show you the beads, the necklace out front here. Um, antique brass and uh it's got some geometric shape wooden beads, which are very nice. Here it is close up. Some there is actually some very, very pretty beads on this. But look at the shapes of the wooden beads. Very, very nice. Okay, that's our second item. Um, let me get this around here. Let me see what I can grab that's not going to tangle everything. Okay, this is a nice necklace. This has a copper lobster claw clasp. I'm going to put this on Buster here. And this is the pendant. Um, it's copper. I don't know. If it, I, don't, I think it's probably just copper tone. I don't know. It's not sticking. So maybe it is copper. Okay, and these are acrylic beads. Beautiful earth tones. Some look like faux tortoise shell. Let me give you a close up. Really, look at that stone in the middle there. I'm pretty sure it's it's acrylic, but it's got that animal print in it. And if you look real close at this, you'll get to see some of the other beads. How nice they are. You know, um, just a pretty necklace for this time of the year. Okay, here we have. A nice little necklace. This is all glass beads. Um, let me just show you on here because it's not that long. The glass beads on this have a nice finish on them and there's some shell in between some of these. But if you look at these beads, look at the finish on that. And there's a couple of those in there and there's shell and then there's some yellow. They're very pretty. So this is a cute necklace. Um, and it's going to be 20, 21 inches. See if it will show up on here. Uh, so your focal bead would be this. I don't know if you can see the beauty of these beads that are on here, but they're really pretty. Okay. Let's put that away. Moving on. 
here is a very interesting bracelet, stretch bracelet. Um, it's got faux leather tassel. These are like, um, I don't know if I want to say silk, but it has a, a very pretty um, couple of dangles that hang off of here. It's brand new condition. It's very pretty. Let me show you close up real fast so you can see the material and you can see how clean it is really pretty bracelet okay this one here I'm pretty sure has a 925 clasp on it yes I have to make sure about the rest of it and it also, it's a very short necklace, so it's going to be more like a choker. Um, 16 inches maybe, maybe a little less. Um, glass beads. And there's some really pretty um, round beads that are in here. You can see these black drops that are, that are in there. Come on, let's focus up. Let's come in close. And you can see that the glass drops. And then if you look close, the round beads all have little flowers on them. So I'm not sure yet if the whole necklace is sterling. I will update you at some point on this. It's very pretty, but it's short. Okay. This is a nice necklace. Um, lobster claw clasp with, with a bead on the end very pretty um, acrylic we have this is the focal bead here get a little closer up I guess this would be like a zebra but it's in gold and um, black then we have these beads um, this is really a nice necklace brand new condition no wear at all here's your back nice big long um, extender with the bead. This is a beautiful necklace. So remember this is video number 60 now. Okay, moving on. This is probably the smallest lot of everything. This is a really nice stretch bracelet done in greens and silver tones. All glass with some shell. This is very pretty. I'm hoping that we can get these beads in focus so you can see how pretty these beads are. Maybe when I bring it close up. It has these bars on it. And there's two of those. But the beads, the glass beads on this are absolutely phenomenal. Um, the colors and stuff. Let's see here. Can you see those? How pretty they are? Really, really beautiful glass beads. Look at that. So there's two of these bars that keep everything separated. It's a stretch and it's in great condition. Now we have a little necklace here. Gold tone with some cubic zirconias. Uh, let me show you this. Very pretty. And this is probably, see if I can get this ruler out here. Not counting the pendant, it's 17 inches, so it's going to drop down to at least 18, if not 19 inches with the pendant. It's very, very pretty, as you can see here. Okay. Our next necklace, and I don't know what this is doing in this lot, but it's a little red hat lady hat. And this is got a beautiful chain on it. And this is 18 inches, not counting the pendant. Great chain. Nice enamel pendant. And here's the, the close-up. 
Here we go. It's got all the rhinestones going around the hat. So this is very pretty. So unlike everything else in this lot. Okay. This is a nice necklace. It's it's um it's on a I think this is on a silk cord. And it's acrylic, but I think some of these I'd have to do a try to do a test. Um looking at some of these um I'm not sure. The the beads um in here they do have some things in them that they could possibly be amber but I don't think so I think it's just a nice warm tone um, necklace that's great for this time of the year and uh, it's very pretty this video is going to be a lot shorter than the last Okay, so you can see how pretty this is. Very nice. Okay, our next one is an acrylic. And it has wood. And it's colors of orange, raspberry, red, and a deep orange. And there's some yellow in here also and some double tricolor beads. Let me take this off. I'm going to stick this on here so you can get an idea of what it's like. It's very pretty. Lightweight and it's not a new a new piece. Okay, you know it's it's seen some wear but that's because it has some age on it. It's just just a nice old necklace with a lot of color. A couple of the beads are in the shape of flowers. Some are in the shape of, um, I don't know if you want to call that a diamond or what, but anyway, let me give you a close up. There you go. There's some that are like two tone. Very pretty. All right. Next we have this on an antique brass. There's a little wear on the pendants, but it's still a really pretty, a very, very pretty necklace. And this has a spring ring clasp. I don't know if you can see that very good. Um, this is a great stone. I'm not sure what it is. I think this one might be acrylic, and it, again, it might not. It's open in the back, but this stone here is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show it to you close up. It's really nice. I know that light gets in the way. There you go. Really pretty. Okay, so that's that one. The next one is interesting. Um, this has got so many cha-chings on it. Um, let me get it untangled here. It has a lot of um, charms and stuff on it. There's elephants with the trunk up. There's birds. Um, glass beads, um, bells, um, I think there's camels on here. You'll see in a second. Anyway, here's what it looks like. All right, and you can see all the glass beads that is on there. This is the middle of the necklace down here at the bottom. There's camels, elephants, there's birds. It's very pretty. Let me see if I can give you somewhat of an idea of what it looks like against a background. I'm going to have to, you're going to lose some of the charms when I do this, but I'll give you another close up of it. 
Okay. There you go. So there's all these little dangles hanging off of everything. The middle is right here. I didn't get it on there real good. Um, the one that has the bell, that's the middle. The middle piece with the, with the um, chips, with the um, agate. And um, like I said, these are all glass. There's uh, amethyst, carnelian. There's even, looks like, um, horses on here. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So, it's long. It has a lot of stuff on it. It's probably going to be 24 to 26 inches. Let me do a close-up. Start back here. Hopefully it'll focus. There might be a tiny, tiny bit of wear on it, but it's not anything bad. And like I said, this is not a new necklace either. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, we have a bangle. Nothing special here, just a plain plastic bangle in silver and black. And it's plastic, but it's pretty. And our last piece, oh no, we have these. We have another pair of these earrings, the Drapers and Damons. This is a, there's a double on this, so if anybody saw this from the first video, these are cute. They're brand new. They're marked $19. Of course, they're not going for that. Um, I think the beads are glass. They feel like it, but they could be plastic. You know, I'm not perfect. I tend to run a little hot, so everything feels cold to me. But they do have beautiful CZs in there down at the bottom. And all those dangles, if you shake your head, they're going to articulate really nice. So we have two pairs of those. This one I like. I, it has a knot in it. I didn't take it out. It's on leather. Um, I'm not sure what this piece is here. It's got to be acrylic. But it's, um, I guess, faux tortoise shell. Let me put this up here. It's gorgeous. And this is by Chico's. And uh, I think you can see that. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna, I'll am bring it up close for you. But somebody evidently tied a knot in here to make it a little bit shorter to wear because it's pretty, it's pretty long. I'll take that out, but I wanted to show you so you're aware that it was in there. Um... The leather's in great shape. I mean, there might be a little bit of wear, um, but nothing, I mean, it's really nice. Here's the pendant. And above it, it has the silver bead with those, like, topazy color. This is a wooden bead, and it's knotted to hold it on, but it's very pretty. Very pretty, pretty. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's the end of this lot. Um, again, the Turk, um, the amethyst bracelet, I'm going to restring this before I even offer it. When it's done at some point, I will let you know. I have a bunch that I have to restring. Because I have some that have to go into some of the orders going out. And... Um, I'm going to get this bagged up again. This is video number 60. So if you send me an email, make sure you refer to video 60. Um, still put the comment down below, the um, you know, the timestamp comment down below in the video. Every little bit helps me. It keeps me from getting all confused and going absolutely nuts trying to match up numbers to product. But um, my system is working pretty good. Um, I, I don't want to have a total uh, letdown, or what do you want to call it, um, blowdown, you know, on one of these days, you know, that I can't find something. So, anyway, um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Monday. Oh, not Monday. Um, what's today? Wednesday? And uh, take care of yourselves. 
just be careful if you go out. And um, our next video, videos, because um, let me show you this. This is the box. I got it all prepared this morning. So, um, this is the box, the, the first box of the, of, um, this is going to be a, like a pop-up sale, I guess. Alright, these are the ones that are all the sets and everything. And also to, um, update you, I think we're at 36 subscribers, so we have 14 more to go before we will be going into the jar and picking out a winner. There's quite a few tickets in here now. And looking forward to doing that. If I shipped out your packages and you've received them, don't forget to let me know that you got them. It's really appreciated that I know all the time that I took wrapping them and putting them together that they got to you safely. So anyway, you have a wonderful rest to your day and I will be in touch with you shortly. So, Jewelry Pirate out. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the video. Please hit that notification bell. Okay, bye-bye.